Hello, Scramble family. Welcome to Scramble Storytime. Today's book is Ludwig the Sea Dog by Hennig Löwein. One day, Ludwig received a postcard from far away. Dear Ludwig, I'm under the sea in my submarine, but I'm having engine problems. Can you please come and help me? Love from Peter the Penguin. Ludwig was very excited. He'd always wanted to visit the sea. Of course he'd help Peter. There was just one problem. Ludwig lived in a world of books. The closest he'd ever been to water was when he and his friends played on a picture of a pond. Ludwig had read a lot about life underwater. In his dreams, the ocean was full of strange creatures and wonderful adventures. There was one book about the deep blue sea that looked particularly exciting, but his friends would not let him open it. It's too dangerous! No, no! So he read a book about hippopotamuses instead. Then he asked his friend Sophie about swimming. She wasn't very helpful. Ludwig decided there was only one thing for it. He put on his swimming trunks, he found some goggles, and he got ready to dive into a book about fish. This will be just like the sea. It's not as easy as it looks. I'm thinking, help! I need to swim in real water. Don't worry, Ludwig, you're safe now. Things didn't go very well, and Ludwig's friends had to help him out. This time, Ludwig didn't hesitate. He went straight to the book about the deep blue sea and pulled open the cover. The creatures inside thrashed about and his friends ran away. Where is all the water, octopus? I don't like these monsters. This is a very scary book. Sophie didn't look where she was going. Oof. Ludwig felt something very cold and very wet. Don't worry, we can help. What is this? This is not good for you, Ludwig. You will stick to the pages. I think it's water. Your corners will roll up. His friends pulled him out and shook the water off him. How can I help Peter when I can't even get wet? Then they put him in a nearby book, so he dried flat. He'll be safe in here. In fairy tales, they always live happily ever after. That will sort him out. I want to see the sea, the sea. Ludwig looked around. The new book was full of stories, and he met some very interesting people. Don't eat Red Riding Hood's grandmother. It won't end well for you, he said. I would have never guessed. All the other ducks make fun of me. Stop worrying. When you grow up, you'll grow up to be a beautiful swan. Did you know I'm really a prince? You should kiss a princess then, said Ludwig. But what is your story, they asked him. So Ludwig told them, I want to swim to the bottom of the deep blue sea and help my friend Peter. The fairy queen will help you, said the wolf. The fairy queen waved her wand. Fairy queen, can you help our new friend? May your wish come true. Then she tamed the sea creatures, turned the pages of the book into real water, and gave Ludwig a magic spell so he could swim. Ludwig dived into the magical world. Oh dear, he's really done it now. What if he gets lost down there? It looks so wet and cold. Brr, I will miss him. Ludwig swam deeper and deeper. He passed sausage fish and all sorts of colorful creatures. It was more wonderful than he had ever imagined. And there, at the bottom of the ocean, Ludwig saw someone he recognized. Peter! Ludwig, you came! The submarine wasn't in good shape, but Ludwig knew how to fix it. There was just one problem. He couldn't get to the engine. Let me look. Oh no, what shall we do? I can't move it. Mm, I see. I just need to lift it. And then he saw something he wasn't expecting. Swimming through the water towards him were all his friends. Swimming is fun. The fairy queen helped us. We came to rescue you. We didn't want fishes to nibble your toes. You came just in time. What are you doing here? Together they lifted up the submarine so Ludwig could fix the engine. Then they all swam to the surface. That should do it. I said I was strong. Thank you. You are my heroes. Look, here's a starfish. And back to Ludwig's world of books. Let's do it again sometime. Ludwig wondered where his next adventure would take. Thank you for joining us for Scramble Storytime and Crafts. We're here for you and your family during this unusual time. And we're proud to offer contactless curbside pickup. Just check out our online store at GoScramble.com on the shop tab for a wide range of books for all ages.